Welcome to this session on command line arguments. We assume that you have gone through and understood the topics namely programming paradigms, introduction to object oriented programming, basics of object oriented programming, coding standards, arrays and strings. This will help you in better understanding of this session. In this session, we will discuss the concept of command line arguments and its implementation in the program. We will also revisit the main method prototype. Let us understand the concept of command line arguments. The command line arguments are used to pass inputs given by user as arguments to the main method. In the prototype of main method, we mention an array of strings as its arguments. This array of strings can be used to hold the command line arguments passed to the program. String is chosen as the type of arguments here, as string type variable can hold data belonging to any primitive data types like int, float, double, etc. In a Java program, these arguments can be converted to the corresponding primitive types using predefined methods. We will discuss few of these predefined methods along with their implementation. Let us consider a business scenario of retail application domain to understand the use of command line arguments. The retail store management wants to allow the customers to pay their bills in two modes either using a credit card or by cash. If the customer chooses to pay by credit card, then a processing charge is applicable on the bill amount. If the customer chooses to pay by cash, then processing charge is not applicable. Hence in this scenario, it is required to accept the mode of payment and processing charge as inputs using command line arguments. Consider that two classes have been written for the retail application domain, namely purchase class and retail class. Purchase class contains two instance variables, bill ID and bill amount, the constructor for initializing the instance variable. Assume that in place of the given comment, appropriate getter methods for the instance variables are written. It also contains a calculate bill method which takes two arguments namely mode for mode of payment and p charge for processing charge percentage. If the mode of payment is credit then processing charge is added to the bill amount otherwise there is no change to the bill amount. The retail class is a starter class hosting the main method. The first command line argument passed, that is args0, is assigned to the local variable, mode as mode of payment. Similarly, the second argument, that is args1, is assigned to p charge as processing charge percentage. Now an object is created for purchase class by passing the values for bill ID and bill amount and the reference is assigned to per object. Once the bill ID and bill amount are displayed, the calculate bill method is invoked by passing mode of payment and processing charge. After completion of calculate bill method, net bill amount is displayed. When this program is executed, it results in compilation error as incompatible types. Let's check why. This is because of the data type of the local variable p charge, which is int. However, when the command line argument args1 assigned to processing charge is a string, we cannot assign a string to an integer. Then how do we accept the arguments of type other than string? As mentioned earlier, this requires conversion of string type to the appropriate type of the local variable. 
This is done through predefined methods in Java. Now look at the modified code. Note that a predefined conversion method named integer.passInt is used to convert the args1 to integer before assigning to processing charge. Let us analyze the output for two cases. Case 1. The command line arguments passed are cache and 5. Since there is no processing charge for cache, the net bill amount will remain as bill amount, that is 1055. Case 2. If the command line arguments passed is credit and 5, 5% 5 processing charge will be added to bill amount and net bill amount will be 1107.75. Having understood command line arguments, let us revisit the main method prototype. The main method is declared public, hence can be accessed from anywhere. The keyword static ensures that main method can be invoked without instantiating the starter class. The return type void indicates that main method does not return any value. The parameter string args that is array of strings is used to hold the command line arguments. In this session we learned command line arguments can be used to pass inputs to main method. The inputs are passed as strings. Java has predefined methods to convert the arguments to the appropriate data type. For lab assignments, refer to the exercises provided under the command line arguments section of the lab guide. This will help you in understanding of implementation aspects.